All right, I got another surprise for you guys. This is the new car. It's a 2022 Range Rover Sport SVR. This is in satin Ligurian black, the ultra metallic finish. So uh, you can kind of see in there. It's got the 22 inch gloss black wheels. <clears throat> no tow hitch. Gloss black trim. SVR, so it's a 5 liter supercharged V8. 575 horsepower. Boom. Kind of got this last minute actually, so I no longer own the RS6. A little sad about that, but honestly, just was not kind of a combination of things, but wasn't really impressed with the build quality. I may have gotten a dud or maybe that one not, but I really enjoyed driving that car, so I did not really want to keep driving that car, and that, I guess, quality wise. So this has got the carbon fiber interior here. Of course, we've got the SVR Windsor Performance seats with the suede. So I got this last night, no longer only R6. It's VR. 99 miles, bought with like 60, I think. Of course, we got the SVR steering wheel. Nice carbon everywhere. It's actually a lot of, it's very fun. Didn't think I'd ever get a Range Rover Sport because combination of things are expensive. Um, and just didn't really consider it as an option for, it's an SUV, I don't really need an SUV. But I kind of get, you know, numb to them because I see them all the time, but actually, you know, spending time in it and driving it is completely different. It's got like soft door close, blind spot assist, and it has the Meridian signature surround, which is the 1700 watt sound system. Nice gloss carbon there. Looks like we got some USB C's. I got my radar detector hooked up there. There's the back of the seats. And we got the basic interior protection package. Soft door close. No illuminated tread plates, which is fine. It's a very nice drive. I do the, the range over quality and interior wise is actually very nice. I know some of them are bad apples, but um, this thing is a phenomenal drive. Sounds great. Here's the owner's manual. Nice leather. And we got the dual up box up here. This is a Windsor leather up there as well. Configurable lighting, which is right here. And then we got the cooler option, which is pretty sweet. Kind of stoked about that. And then we got the fixed panoramic roof up top. I do like the soft door close. Yeah, a little bit of a surprise, but definitely do like it a lot. Yeah, it's good to get back into the brand. I've had three Jags. I work at a Jaguar Land Rover dealer, so it is nice to get back into the brand. Never had a Land Rover before, so it should be interesting. A lot of aero, a lot of cooling options on here. I am getting a full satin stealth expel, full hood. I'm not doing full body, it's very expensive. So I'm getting full hood. I think it's gonna take about a month to get on. We're booked out there. And then window tint. Here she is. My old car. 2021 Audi R6 Avant. Only had it for about three months. It's a fun car.
full satin stealth, carbon optic, black exterior optic, carbon ceramics, lowered intake, upgraded sound system. It's pretty sweet. Did the resonator deletes and everything, so it's pretty cool. But decided to get out of it, so it was fun. Um, I ordered a uh, flat bottom steering wheel too for that car, but actually just canceled it.